What are we doing again tonight, Z? It's the same thing we do every Friday night. I'm pretty sure that's what we do. This is Our Reviews Will Kill You, the party time podcast that brings you news, reviews, movies, television, all that great stuff and more. I am the man you may know as Z. And I am here with uh, Destitute Noob Noob. I'm Hoodlum Noob Noob on a Thursday. This may be a Friday. Maybe we're in the chat. Maybe we're not. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. I can see Doc is in our admins. I can see uh, Ron Cold, the so-called killer. Hey, girl, waiting for her peni picks. Whoa. And Wiser hopefully will be out there as well. And a bunch more. We're glad to see all of you. Yeah, Mr. M's always here. Oh, we love Mr. M. He's like, we have you unmuted because my child's sleeping for five minutes. And then I got to go. Oh, in 10 minutes, we love you, Mitsu. We love you already. <laughs> we are preemptively loving you. Yep. Loving you. Anyway, we have an amazing show for you tonight. Do you have any idea what's on it, Noob Noob? No. Sh- Probably not. Sugar biscuits. Hold on. Sugar I, I biscuits. shut my phone. Hold on. It's very complicated. There's children in Nickelodeon playhouses, I think. Very hard. Uh, hold Hopefully that doesn't second. make you hard. Uh, Happy Gilmore is... is. Oh, I thought that was a joke. There's actually a script for that? Mm. How about that? Wizards of Waverly Place is back without Selena Gomez because she's too hot, too heavy for a broom. To hold her. <laughs> too heavy for a broom? <clears throat> yeah, because wizards wear, ride brooms. Do they? I think so in Harry Potter. Honestly, have you seen Selena Gomez recently? Like, damn, she ate like 14 Selena Gomez. <laughs> have you seen her boyfriend? She went to a Selena Gomez buffet and just kept eating herself. <laughs> she did. I feel bad because she's had some health issues, but like also at the same time. But has she, she had STDs? She like looks you. like a Latina that had 14 kids. When she's had zero. Like she looks like, you know, Jennifer Lopez's mom after she went to the trailer park and just plopped out 14 kids. Husband left her. She's there working a part time job at a low end factory for burritos. <laughs> uh-huh. Anyway, so it sounds like a life story of yours. Is, and Euphoria is, is can canceled? Question mark. I don't think it's canceled. It's just delayed indefinitely. Nah, well, oh, OK. Delayed indefinitely. There's a chance. That usually means canceled There's in my world. For, yeah, well, Sydney Sweeney's like, yeah, I'm too famous for this. My tits are too nice. I will not pop them out for you anymore. And Zendaya's like, eh, Dune, though. Also too famous for you. Also, I'm getting that Tom Holland spider webs. <laughs> uh-huh. So. Yes. Uh, cocoa is more expensive than copper. Cacao. Co- cocoa. Cacao. Cacao. You spelled cow- cacao wrong then. No, it's cocoa powder. Like I cacao powder. is different than cocoa powder. In case you, we will wondering. find out the truth yep. shortly. Then the next pirates movie will not have uh, Johnny Depp in it. I guess sadly, because it's rebooting for the past like five years. Stupid. Let's keep rebooting. Stupid. Joker. We're gonna two. reboot this show. Joker two. No, we're not. We might just be in a more beachy location. There might be more sensibles and more... Uh, nah, can't be sensible. More nasty. It might get nasty. Yeah, oh my God, that'd be hilarious. i get replaced by nasty mandate. <laughs> that would be hilarious. You would get canceled immediately. That man would offend everyone. i just mute him. Joker 2 musical revealed. I think they were telling you, I guess, what the music playlist is. Yeah, we'll oh, see. Oh, you put this in the thing. Dragon Ball theme park in Saudi Arabia. Why does it have to be in Saudi Arabia? You're going there next. I'm too gay for that. I'd get killed immediately. Probably. Right. I, why? We are go- I would say we could get the chat together. Enough super chats to send Noob Noob to Saudi exactly. Arabia. Yep. Let's send them. Then yeah, we don't have to deal with them anymore. If you join our memberships, we, we should have an extra membership, a Dragon Ball theme park membership. We'll just all super chats will go directly to hundred dollars a day. Sending new new to Saudi Arabia. I'd almost like to go there myself, not for the Dragon Ball theme park. I'll oh my explain god. That, later. that was I mean, I'm, I'm still tempted to go to Saudi Arabia just for that, but No. There's another reason I want to go. For the gays? No, the largest diving pool in the entire world. You can't swim. Wait, what? Scuba uh, diving pool, dummy. So Godzilla claw shoe fashion. Yes, we're going to get fashionistas as oh. we usually do. We gave up on face tattoos, but we have not given up on t- on fashion because face tattoos are everywhere. Not as interesting. Not entirely sure what that means. You'll but see. But we're getting outrageous with just one outrageous story of a fake snuff film for Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway was already showing her boobies in snuff. She wasn't snuff films, but she was showing her boobies in a lot of younger movies. Havoc. What does that have to do if with anyone's snuff ever watched films? Havoc? It's a good movie. She looked nice in that. What's the one with Jake Gyllenhaal? It's a connection there. Uh, that was 
not love is blind. anybody but Jesus. you wasn't, and friends. Wasn't that damn it? You're making me. Uh, I have no idea. Me. I haven't seen us. I've. I love only actually. Nope. I only not watch uh, rom coms when I'm forced to for the show, like Irish Wish. Uh, it's gonna annoy me. I watched it. I I own that movie. I'm gonna. Wow. Look it up. I'm gonna look it up later. I'm gonna look it up later. She has Parkinson's. We might have to have a conversation about a Never Ending Story at some point too. Because of remaking it. Yes. Because you haven't watched it. Maybe we put that on Patreon and on our members only. We don't have a Patreon. We have a members only We will only at some point. We have a members only. Not a OnlyFans. A yeah, members only. Members only. Uh, so then we're going in or out of the Borderlands video game movie thing. And uh, a thing called Unfrosted by Jerry Seinfeld. Because Just the tips. We're allowing him to direct movies now, I guess. And uh, then we're doing reviews of Roadhouse. 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 And Quiet on Set, the dark side of the kids' TV. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know if I want to spend a lot of time on that, but we'll talk about it. There's it's a little well, bit of a downer. Diddy spent a lot of time on those kids. It's a Diddy downer. It is. Because Diddy likes to diddle. Although, I guess they, they interviewed the crap out of that one guy that got canceled for doing the pedo stuff. Uh, Drake, uh, Drake, Drake Bell. Bell. Drake I will Bell. explain because Drake Bell explains it as well. He explains that he was touched, so he had to do the touching. That is, it is a transference property or yep. transferative property. Isn't he in jail though? He is not in jail. Not in jail. For no, because kids. he never actually physically did anything. He just virtually did it. Yeah, I'll explain later. Okay. We have to. We've got to leave a little taste. So he like he he layered it. He was physically touched, so then he virtually touched. Yes, it's one transitive property away. So then the next kid's gonna be. Will like, you stop talking about okay. it so that we can talk about it later? Let's get on. I guess. Let's get it on to uh, housekeepings. Oh. People made me go with this sexualized alien picture. Oh, daddy. And people asked me, like, is that a crab? It does kind of look like a crab. Does it look like what's in your pants? Uh, no, that's a lot bigger than what's in my pants. Oh, no, so. I meant, like, do you have crabs? We're oh. trying to pinpoint which STD you actually have. I don't know if you can pinpoint multiple. Are you losing your hair? Yeah. Because then it would be syphilis. Is that a thing? Absolutely. So Why? Do you, that's what powdered wigs were for. So did you have syphilis since like the age of 30? Of Obviously. Okay. That makes sense. That's why I wear a powdered wig all yeah. the time. If only it took away your weird chin strap beard. It's beautiful. It's really not. It is gorgeous. You wish you It's you a little had. uncomfortable looking at it, to be honest. Oh, look at that. I've gotten used to beard. it, but I think the audience still has it. It's not. called the gypsy beard. It predicts the future. It does. So anyway, this is about alien Romulus. I don't know why it's called. I know why it's called that, but it's not a good choice for a title. But it, it's directed by Fetty Alvarez, who did a lot of really gross body horror stuff. And it looks very much like there's penetrative mouth stuff forcibly done. Are you I'm interested? For that. I like forcible mouth I'm stuff. I'm pretty sure you saw the trailer. Is there did a, you know? I did. I did. Is there a hot girl in it? I forget. Oh, yeah. Isabella Merced's in it. And you're in. Yeah, she I'm gets in. forcible mouth stuff done to Wait, her. You're in. No, 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 no. This is a movie, not a show. So are you? In, I think it looks pretty good. There's an alien show also coming. That is by Noah Hawley, and that's totally different by the guy who does Fargo. So this is the movie. It's going to come out, in, I think, November. I said it in the... Watch the video. You'll know when it comes I'm out. I'm going to need to see if Isabella Merced... Oh, God, I, I forgot to take my pre-show tinkle. This is this is not good. Oh, boy. Um... <laughs> You can leave anytime you want. Nope. Because then uh, the audience will be used to it. I will pee in the just past. like, <laughs> just like your daddy. What? <laughs> you also you you left your poor little sandworm babies. Oh Jesus! Uh, you so left them at the door. I just need to know if Isabella Merced is going to show a little belly. That's all I need. Do you? What? You're not interested in whether or not she's the one who gets forcible mouth stuff. As long as she's in a crop top, that's fine. Oh, okay. It's not good enough if you need she's to not. see that tender, tight stomach. And then uh, I wait. We did we do this we together? Did. We I'm in we the both card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but just, do you, you know what it is? I don't remember it. Okay, oh, acolyte. Yes. Yeah. Oh, because you liked all the lightsabers. I did. Did I? Maybe I, I don't know. These might be out of order. I have no idea. Unclear. It's unclear. But we react to the acolyte, which I will hate watch. There's rumors it's already been canceled after one season. 
as has every other Disney as show. it should be except for the mandalorian which should be canceled after season three but they're going to do a movie technically it's still canceled sure and then uh this could be one of the greatest rap songs i've ever heard in my entire life two bears one grave i don't know why this video has not blown up I don't know. I'm very confused. You should watch it. It is. We do. The song's great. Solid fact checking. And the song is great. we explain all of the references as best we can to this. So I'm, I'm confused as to why people don't like it. I didn't realize I obscured my Z in that photo. I'm very upset now. Did you? Oh, did. yeah, you did. Look at me. You want to hide your Russian affiliation. There is none. Especially after the tasing and that shooting or whatever they were doing with the police people's. You heard about that, right? You're not talking about like the mass shooting at, at the that theater one. that happened? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where they like cut off the guy's ears who were oh, doing Oh, they, they did him good. They, I mean, do you blame them? I don't. No, I agree. And then I did an early review of Roadhouse. 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 Although you should do a video of, you saw both because I've never seen the original. You've no, Oh, really? No. Okay. I may have seen clips from it, but I don't know that I've ever actually sat down and watched. I'm pretty all sure of if Roadhouse. my mom could still get pregnant, she'd get pregnant off watching Roadhouse. <laughs> Maybe she can. She loves her some Patrick Swayze. Do, I heard a rumor about throat ripping. Is that a thing? Oh yeah, that's a th- that's the, what do you mean? That's the most notable. That is scene. the most notable scene. Okay. That's what I was. I was scared for Conor McGregor. Oh, you thought he would get... Th- no okay. spoilers, but he's that same kind of like, oh, no, is that going to happen? Is L- it, luckily... Will there be throat ripping? You saw the post credit scene, right? I did. Yeah. Do, don't spoil it. I was very happy with that. No. Oh, because you like nudity of I men's. do like them cheese. So I, I did a full Roadhouse. Did I, I don't think it was spoilers, though. I think I just... I talked about some of the uh, behind-the-scenes action. We will just talk about the movie itself. There's nothing to spoil. Like, what are you spoiling? stuff and exactly. things like you can't spoil this movie a it's a remake b i thought it, i really almost happened. did another critical drinker reaction because critical drinker hated it no we should do what do you what do you mean why would you not do that <laughs> because uh, our, what, video, our last big video our what? channel hasn't been doing so great since we banged on critical drinker no let's bang on him again uh we'll talk about it we'll see what are you doing We'll see. I, I but uh, Charlie from Moist, Cri- Moist Critical, he liked it, so I agree with him. We'll I, get there. We'll I, get there. I liked it too. And then, oh, this Crowder, dude. you also would have said you were like, "Dude, Crowder, uh, Crowder's always enough. big." No, so much action with Crowder. Keep, keep throwing it at the wall; it'll stick eventually. It'll stick eventually. Uh, so Crowder. And he res- they responded. So Stephen Crowder has more accus- accusations, sort of, but they responded exactly how I predicted they would respond. Stephen did not respond directly, but if you watch this video, I poach heavily from other people people's videos who did all the work for me, and I react accordingly. Oh boy! So, yeah. Why? Well, why would there's a the guy's channel is called Too Lazy to Try. Why would I try harder than he did? Unclear. That is exactly true. So we should move on. To the news? To the news! Happy Gilmore! Are you excited? I didn't... I thought this was a joke when I saw the... I saw like a cast thing. Like a a screenshot of the cast. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was like a wish fulfillment thing. Because isn't that, that black dude dead? Oh, right. He did. Yes. Carl Weathers did just pass away. Carl Weathers is the man. I loved him in that. I did. And uh, Chubbs. And isn't uh, Chubbs forever. The, the, who's that? The Scooter McGavin. Shooter McGavin. Shooter McGavin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's not dead, right? How did you see this movie? It's very old. Happy Gilmore. It's 96. Great. What do you mean? It's amazing. It's before your time or after your time, depending on whether no, or not you're the, 60. All the Adam Sandler Noob movies don't back crack. in the... In the '90s, they were great. Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore, two the two and uh, what the hell's that? Spaceman. No. Did you know Spaceman's killing it? Do you have any idea how many views my Spaceman video has? Not that many. Uh, it's like twenty-eight hundred. Thank you very much. You didn't notice that, did you? The short? Yeah. Does, is it still just it's trucking? Oh, is it really? it's like, like twenty-eight hundred views. Holy yeah. shit! 
Yeah, you didn't know that? It's, what is it on, a trickle effect? Uh, yeah, it seems to be. People love Adam Sandler, and I love Adam Sandler. I love when he hugs space spiders, and I love when he plays golf. And I, would, I think it would be amazing to see him on, like, the old man PGA Tour. Wouldn't it be funny to see Happy on the old guy tour? It would be. Isn't, isn't there like an... It's not the LGBTA. Hopefully Tiger Woods is in it. Oh, that would be great. And he tries to sex somebody. <laughs> I mean, that's probably going to happen. So. Yeah. But Happy Gilmore's sequels in development and a script has been written. Actor Christopher McDonald says, I'm sure it's going to be a Netflix film, but I, I think it's great. Why not? He's already... He said uh, he's already got a, a first draft of Happy Gilmore 2. I, I didn't even know that. I thought this was a fake story. No, at, and you got to remember, actors will do anything to get another job. So, especially the actors in this, they're not that famous. So, I'm sure they. Well, won't. Chris McDonald's. I mean, he's a character actor, I'm but sure Julian Bowen didn't. Has she done anything since this? I don't Who? know. The girl in the middle. The girl. The main girl. I don't even Julie know Julie Bowen. She Julie was, Bowen? She was awesome. That's what it says right there from left. Christopher McDonald, Julie Bowen, Adam Sandler, and Happy Gilmore. The girl with the two beers. I think and Julie she's like, Bowen is from, anything uh, from you? Modern Family. I have no idea. I think she's the Modern Family girl. I'm going to say no, but sure. Why not? So I, I'd be excited to see this. I don't think he plays hockey anymore. I think they should drop that plot line. Uh, just be like, have him in his old man golf. Yeah, I agree. You know, I'm. I, I wasn't gonna watch this because I thought it was fake. So I'm gonna watch it now. What about Wizards? Are you ready for? Oh God, with Selena Gomez. Yes, she's gonna be in it with Selena Gomez. Jesus God, is she the cook? <laughs> Selena Gomez is cele- celebrating her return to Waverly Place in an Instagram post on March 22nd. Disney Channel posted a sweet. Then and now photos of 31-year-old actor and her co-star, David N. Henry, that they will release Wizards of Wizard Waz, wi- Wizards of Waverly Wazards, Place. Grand Wizards of Waverly. Supreme White Pizzas. <laughs> Supreme Wizards of Waverly. Grand Place. Wizards eating Supreme White Pizzas. Yes. Sequel released sometime this In fall. In the whitest of places. We are back. So grateful. Magic. What? Yeah. There's a reason she's wearing all black. Oh my god, look at her this giant what is she wearing? A giant moo-moo. What yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> is she Marlon Brando? Is that what she's done? I don't know what's going on. Oh my gosh. She is Marlon Brando. Uh oh Jesus. Um <laughs> Right? Yeah, that's <sighs> Why Why is this a thing? Like She will they- revive her character, Alex Russo, in a guest starring role. Was this for... Oh, this was for Disney, so she was not molested. Or well, she, maybe she was. She was a... Di- well, she's probably molested, but she was a Disney kid, not a Nickelodeon kid. Yes. <clears throat> so. Well, I... I don't give a... <laughs> I've never seen the show, nope, so I, I don't no care idea. at all about this, but... <laughs> you do care about her eating habits. Yeah. She had the cooking show on HBO Max. She right? did. Cooking and with Selena Gomez. It was like, yes. Selena course and meal. Chef. Yeah. <laughs> 17 courses. Every meal was just 17 courses <laughs> uh-huh. per meal class. So it was like 17 Lots appetizers. Lots of butter in that one. 17 appetizers. Let's move on to 18, 18 entrees and then uh-huh. 14 desserts. Ah, uh, yes. Speaking She's of. A fucking blimp. <laughs> How will we move on? To something less blimpy. Yeah. How about your the Atkins f- diet? Euphoria. Jesus. <laughs> These are all thin, ripe young women. Uh, I mean, Sydney Sweeney's not super thin. Isn't she kind of short though? She is. So she's got big old tagums. She she does. I wasn't for that until I saw anyone but you, and I'm like, I'm in. What do you mean? Have you never seen Euphoria? No. Nothing from you for you. Nah, because Zendaya is hot, but not uh, in this. She looks like a crack hoe. She's, she's, yeah. And then Sydney Sweeney, I think, is a crack hoe. She said something about the most. She like vomits in the toilet, or not in the toilet, in her bathtub or something. And she ugly. said it was the most disgusting scene she's ever done in her entire Sydney life. Sydney Sweeney. Yes. Yeah. No thanks. Yeah. That doesn't sound hot. 
It does not. Well, there were rumors that Euphoria was getting canceled, but now they're saying it's it's just been delayed. You know, they're committed to making new episodes, even though both actresses are um, extremely expensive to work with now, right? And Zendaya is going to cost a fortune, and now Sydney Sweeney, I'm sure, is just going to cost a fortune. And then somebody for the show... Angus McCloud or Angus Cloud oh, died. Yeah. He's dead. I mean, he was a drug dealer. He would have got shot anyway. But yeah, so they're confer- they're like, it expects to premiere 2025. That means they had no plans to commit to it. And now because they've been called out on the on the floor that they need to do it, they're like, ah, oh, yeah, we'll do it in like a year or two. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And there's gonna be a five year time jump, which is stupid. Now they're not going to be kids anymore. Nobody cares. We only care. Well, I didn't care. But most people only cared because they were like kids in high school. People were like mad because they were teenagers. And, and they're not teenagers anymore. And Zendaya has won two Emmys. Now she's just jerking two uh, golf guys. No. Oh, tennis yeah. Challengers. Guys. Yeah. 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 I, I, don't, I don't know if I want to see that, but I'm, I don't not want to see it. I, d- I don't want to see it. But I do want to make an investment. I'm going to invest heavy in cacao powder. This is from mining.com because I normally that's don't. That's cocoa. That's why I said cocoa powder. Cacao is C-A-C-A-O. Do you even know the difference? Yeah, cacao is pure cocoa. And what's cacao? No, that's what cacao is like the pure grain, like the pure. What does chocolate? it come out of? What, what do they make chocolate out of? What Plants. You, uh-huh. What part of the plant? cacao and what's part is the cocaine part the leaves okay and which part is the the chocolate part the even though they're two different plants but let's keep going with this they make chocolate out of the stems Mm -hmm. what about the roots the roots are for banana bread (laughs) so you've never heard you didn't know you don't know what a cocoa bean is no! Oh, That's shocker! Right. I forgot about the beans. Oh, I knew you didn't forgot know a single thing. Beans. So apparently, cocoa has extended its surge. The cocoa powder, cocoa it is the spice, is gaining more than seven hundred dollars per ton in a single day, surpassing nine thousand dollars ever. First time ever, as the supply crunch grips the market, and chocolate makers are grappling for the beans. I need the beans. I just thought this was pretty funny. Prices are up 60% this month alone. Stop buying chocolate, folks, because you're it's going to be very difficult. No, <laughs> it's thanks. higher than copper is the point. And copper is actually useful where I could do without some chocolate. You could definitely do with less chocolate. I, I love could chocolate. Tell. What do you mean? You what? could do with less chocolate. You call me fat? No, not even a little bit. I'll throw up in this bathroom right now. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll throw up in the studio. Uh-huh. All Where do you the think computer. they get cacao beans? Probably cacao. from Africa. West Africa. Correct. Is it really West Africa? There's Ivory Coast growers. I mean, I feel like it grows all over the place, but maybe in your backyard. Maybe oh, my we- God. Is that why Africans are black because of the cacao beans? I doubt it. Because it grows in the soil and then they grow from the soil. Oh, my God. And they're both black. Is that not a thing? No. Was that, not, was that a stretch? D- sounds like you're more interested in the Caribbean and pirates than cacao. I do love the pirates of the Caribbean. Do you, though? I definitely don't. Jerry Bruckheimer is not a good director, though. He is not. I don't know what but else he's like done. But you like pirates? Le- he's done Batman and Robin. That's unfortunate. And he also did... Uh, did he, he did the Bad one with Boys? Two-Face. He did the one with... With Isn't he the Jim bad boy? Carrey? No, Michael Bay is Bad Boys. Yes. He did the ones with uh, J- Jerry Burkow. He's done a lot of good Ivy stuff. And, uh, Bane. I don't know. But he also did the one with Two-Face and the Riddler. Jim Carrey is the Riddler. Was that the crappy one or was that the good one? They're both crappy. But mm. the one that's the worst is the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. I see you later. Yeah. Chill out. 
Uh, so anyway, Jerry Bruckheimer, he's got to be like one of the most, the richest producers in all of Hollywood. He does he's, like to produce a lot of things. Yes. But uh, they were going to do an all-female. Oh, with Margot pirate. Robbie. Yeah. She should still be in it. No. Well, now they're going to do, I don't know. They're going to do some kind of reboot. I, we've been hearing news about this forever. Yeah. Bring Johnny Depp back, Margot Robbie. Like, what? They're probably going to do neither, and then it's going to suck. I would bet you they're going to go cheap and just do neither. And it'll just be... Stupid. Yes. I don't like any of them. No, the first the first hate, two were good. No, I hate the first movie. Those are one of the movies I will go to my grave being like, they were not good. The first movie's stupid. Tell me what happens. Uh, there was uh, the curse. And of there what? was uh, that black What was pearl. it even called? The the Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of the Black Pearl. Clutch of the Black Pearl. Okay. Yeah. Well, what is the Black Pearl? Uh, a ship. And what happens? Uh, Jack Sparrow was trying to get back his ship from the captain that stole it from him. Who stole it? Uh, captain. Uh, butt butt clap. <laughs> uh huh. Captain butt clap. <laughs> Barbosa. Yes. Uh huh. I'll give you some hints. Uh huh. And. Uh, then, you know, he's something like, about gold. Well, there's always gold. It's pirates. Uh-huh. So and booty, <laughs> not know? enough booty. If so I he's like, give so. me my shit back. And he's like, no. And then Johnny's no. like, <laughs> yes, that's not cool. I'm going to kill you now. And then, you know, they eventually fight at the end. And Johnny and Depp, what happens in the second one? And Johnny Depp gets his shit back. Oh, Kraken. Kraken happens. You sure? That's yeah. not the third. What's the third one? I think Kraken again. Uh-huh. They just keep cracking. They keep cracking it. Never stop cracking. Cracking was definitely two though. Crack a sure. lacking. Yeah, there was Are Davey you sure Jones. about that? Davy Jones. Davy Jones's locker. And who who is Davy? Who was on Davy Jones's ship? The Kraken. <laughs> uh huh. Bootstrap. Black spice rum. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. And his dad. Yeah. Who's who? Wait, who's dad? Wills. No, people often forget Legolas is in these. Yeah, Orlando Bloom. And and the girl. What's the girl's name? Kira Knightley. That girl. She hadn't done nothing in a while. Ke- well, yeah, Kira Knightley. She probably has kids. Good for her. I'm sure she does. Or she's gone. She also wasn't a very good actress, so makes sense. I'm trying to I feel like she was good in something. Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> just, no. What about? How do you feel about Joker two? No, thanks. I am confused because the budget on this is like two hundred million dollars. This feels like a bad joke. That was they they the the guy was like, I made a billion dollar movie off of eighty million dollars. Now I can make whatever I want. And Todd Phillips is like, double it. No, he's like, now I'm gonna make an eighty eighty million dollar movie off of a billion dollar budget. Yes, yes, exactly. Does anyone want to see this anymore? Joker folly. A do? It's gonna be a musical. Straight. Up, there's 15 cover songs. Do I really want to spe- hear the Joker be like, "Who pays the rent?" Who's- Apparently, it's like all new songs. No, it's not. It's 15 cover songs and original tracks. No, not, maybe not added not later. New songs, as in like like newer. Like maybe there's covering Taylor Swift or some shit. <laughs> Uh, They're going to shake it off. Pretty sure. What do you know this song? It's called That's Entertainment from the 1953 musical The Bandwagon. I feel like it. No, I don't. I'm going to I'm starting to confuse Todd Phillips with Seth MacFarlane on his his uh, understanding of old musicals. Maybe he's a big Boris Streisand fan, too. They're both gay and Jewish. <laughs> I did not say that. I did. Okay, well, you own that. Barbara Streisand is Jewish, is she not? What does that have to do with Seth? Uh, Seth MacFarlane's gay. Seth MacFarlane? MacFarlane's very gay. And? If you did Amelia Clark from Across the Pond <clears throat> while you're in America, you're gay. And Todd Phillips? Oh, that's like having like long-distance girlfriend. I'm dating Khaleesi, the most hottest girl on earth. She's totally my girlfriend. We can never see each other. I'm just so busy. I don't have time for you, says M- Seth MacFarlane. Yeah, you, you, make, you make time to find that. I dating. like to make out with 17-year-old actresses, says Seth MacFarlane. Oh, yeah, he does do that. Yeah, I think there's a story in there. He's a little weird. Yeah, for sure. He's going to be on that Nick at Night sequel. 
<laughs> the fox kids who the, the touched. F- fox kids who were touched inappropriately. I think yeah. some of them are dead. Oh boy. Uh although isn't one of them Kaylee McQuoquo or Kuko? Kaylee Kuko was She's she hot. was she one of those girls? I don't I hope know. So. I don't know. It's called a jukebox musical. <laughs> so it's basically on par with Mamma Mia and Moulin Rouge. Are you excited about this? Not really. Who pays I, the rent? I might need to see it. Who pays the rent? I don't know. How does rent go? <laughs> Do you know a single? I don't know a single. I can't think of a single musical. No idea. Can I? Okay, hold Isn't on. Isn't rent about the gay people? Something about paying rent. I yeah. know that. What about, uh, can I think of a single, name one musical besides Cats. Oh, okay, sing a song from Cats. My tight pussy <laughs> is no. so tight. No. I like milk. Nope. Dribbled what about, on you, I know my Memories pussy. is a song. I know Memories are those something about memories. Nope. No. Oh, my pussy. No. Can you name a, another musical? Wicked. Okay. Down with the wicked. My wicked pussy. <laughs> okay. It's so wicked. Wicked. <laughs> it's green and oozes. Oh. When that wizard comes. Oh, is that why they hired Lady Gaga? Because they wanted music from her? I, I'm, a sh- I'm sure. She's a good singer. Not very attractive, uh, but she's a good singer. And she likes to get naked. So. And Joaquin Phoenix is also a good singer. He did Walk the Line. Oh, he did. He's very good in that. Yeah. Walk the Line. His voice is actually deeper. Walk the Line than, to uh, my pussy. <laughs> than, uh, um, I was going to say Johnny Cage, but no, that's not who he is. Johnny Cage. Johnny Cash. <laughs> locking up my pussy. <laughs> okay. In that octagon. Wow. Wow. UFC. <laughs> is he gonna do a is he gonna do a roadhouse? Joaquin Road Phoenix? Roadhouse. Roadhouse. I can't wait for the sequel. The Roadhouse? The roadhouse t- two? Fuck yeah. The road the roadhouses. Maybe he has to protect two roadhouses. Ro- yeah, you mean many ro- many ro- road <laughs> road homes. Road <laughs> Road Homes. Road homes. For sure. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, all right. So, uh, I'm not super excited about this, but I'm, I'll see it. I mean, I still can't name any musicals. What about Les Mis? There has to be a song from Les Mis. Les Mis is a thing. I can't name a single song from Les the Mis. The Lion King. Hakuna Does that Ma- prove that I am uh, a super straight? No, <laughs> you're, you're overcompensating. Oh, am I? A straight guy would at least name it, know one musical. I just said one. Mm. Les Mis. But I don't know any music from it. A little I can't pay the rent. Oh, don't Cause they talk of about my that? Pussy. Lay Miz. <laughs> Hugh Jackman likes my pussy. Oh, he did a he had a musical. He's what in was there. it? Lay Miz. He was in Lay Miz. Oh my god, he was. But he has another one. Like Greatest Showman? No, a different one. It's like he's a one man show and he's like he's a clearly has a beard who he got rid of. I don't know. Hugh Jackman's clearly. I think he's gay. Oh, for sure. Yeah. His wife was like 20 years older than him. His wife also looked like a man, so. <laughs> uh-huh. I think that was like a good middle ground for him. Ah, uh, yes. For his 30s to 50s. From his 30s to 50s? now he's like 50s? slowly moving in on Ryan Reynolds. Oh, you mean he's going to try to steal him from... I'll come uh, back from Wolverine as long as I can shove my claws in you. Uh-huh. That's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we'll move on from musicals to uh, your favorite going to Saudi Arabia. This looks awesome. Going to get inspected in the booty. These fucking oil barons know how to make a theme park. I'll tell you that. Saudi Arabia based Kida Investment Company. Al-Qaeda? Al-Qaeda Investment Company has announced that it will be constructing the world's only ever Dragon Ball theme park as part of its Al Qaeda Giga project. Oh, geez. It's going to be very explosive. 
<laughs> Dragon Ball theme park will boast a whopping size of over 500,000 square meters that will immediately sink into the ocean. How many virgins are sacrificed for this? <laughs> it features seven different areas that recreate various iconic locales from the original series. I want a Cloud City. Is there a Cloud City? I don't think that's a Dragon Ball thing. Oh, sorry. Kame House? That sounds awesome. Capsule Corporation? I'm, I'm in. Beerus Planet? Beerus. Whatever. Beer us. Beer me, beer Beerus. you, beer us. At the park, visitors will be able to join an adventure with Goku and pals as they enjoy the world of Dragon Ball from the very beginning of the anime all the way up to through Dragon Ball Super. So what happens when it moves beyond that? Uh, well, Akira Toriyama died, so... It doesn't matter anymore. The anim- Just recycle the it. on indefinite hold, which is very sad. Concept art. Would you like to see it? Can I bring it I up? I saw it already. It looks cool. It doesn't look like anything to me. It looks, just looks like stuff. Looks good. I see a dragon. Where are all the balls? Why can't this be in Disney instead of like four, a 15 hour flight? That's all right. It's, it's just like a, just like your normal drive that you're going to do. Yeah, so 15 better. hours in the car, 15 hours in the plane. What do you care? It's fine. The only thing you got to worry about is those uh, cavity searches. I don't need to worry about that. I welcome it. Oh, well, they can I search for my Dragon Balls. Oh well, how about um? So you're you're all in on this? I, I, I may actually go. <laughs> I yeah. I, I don't, would see the pricing. I don't know if you could get permission. I would see the pricing. Uh huh. If it's like within five grand a person, I yeah, hey maybe. By yourself? Sure. Just you. Me and uh, me and the boys will roll up. Ah, if you're paying for everybody. No. Well, then you ain't going. Nah, it's fine. I'll start an OnlyFans. <clears throat> Go fund me. Uh-huh. Send Noob Noob to Dragon Ball Camp. Uh-huh. Uh, so I, I could care less. I really don't care. I'm excited. I'm just sad it's so far away. So far. So far. Giga Pride. What if it sinks into the ocean? Will you be sad? Is Saudi Arabia supposed to sink into the ocean? You know all those, like, crazy islands that they made? Like, the world... Sure. And like the one that looks like a cappuccino leaf thing. They're all just going to melt. They all started singing into the ocean. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's not meant for this world. It's very sad. What about, how do you feel about Godzilla fashion? We are fashionistas, as you may know. Look how fashionably we are. He is hobo chic. Yeah. And I am Z chic. Who made the Godzilla show, shoes that stole the show at the 2024 Oscars? They wore Godzilla shoes. That's pretty dope. I want a pair of Godzilla heels. I'm I'm ready for them. Are you ready for them? I would buy them. I'd wear Godzilla themed shoes. Well, uh yeah, see look they like it's like Godzilla holding your your heel. That's up. awesome. Can I buy them? Maybe. I'm going to guess not. You probably need to murder the people who... $484 is $646. Yeah, check, please. I cannot afford that. (laughs) (laughs) That is too much money. I'm Steve-O. I've got my my own shoe. Steve-O, the world's biggest shoe. These people were the the, the bell of the ball at the Oscars. They were super happy to win. They were cute and adorable. Like, they they were awesome. So. Earned it. They made an amazing yeah. movie off of eighteen million dollars that um, won an Oscar. I'm they, happy for them. They should hopefully change Hollywood. They need to make Godzilla minus two. Oh my gosh, Godzilla minus three or plus one. No, because that would mean that Japan was winning. Godzilla zero. Yeah, Godzilla zero. Then it could just be even. Godzilla double minus zero. But I'm in. I think these are awesome. It's Godzilla's like hand holding their their heel. Yeah, it's adorable. I want it. I need it. Need it in your life. My bladder hurts a lot right now. Well, I mean, you. C- <laughs> it's only been 36 minutes. I forgot that I had to pee before the show started. Oh, oh my gosh! What if it turns out that it's one of the one of your incidences? Oh my god! There's gonna be <clears> blood <throat> everywhere. Oh god! It's disgusting. All over As the an outrage, all over the walls. Well, lucky we don't own this house, but that seems like it's an outrage. It outrages with some boobies. I don't think there's any boobies.
boobies in this. Never it's mind. A outrageous. fake snuff film for Anne Hathaway. It's outrageous because there's no boobies. Do you know what a snuff film is? The sex. Eh, not really. Oh. You're there's that's no where they film someone who I guess agreed to be um have their you know how cats have like nine lives? Yeah. What if you were losing one of those lives but filming it? And you're not a cat, so you don't have nine of them. And you're a person, so what? you lose all of them. So it's murder. That's what, yes, that's what snuff film is. Murder movies. Yes. Do you think Anne Hathaway has seen this? Uh, Adrian Tofe is a great director, but he also did it. He did like it's a found footage genre of him murdering women. But it's he's ultimately trying to murder Anne Cathaway, where he wants her to be what? a cat. Be my cat, a film for Anne. Is very ambitious Romanian director turned serial killer, also named Adrian. This is getting weird. Yeah, it's a movie. It's not real. But I just thought it was weird. And he says, he goes, I saw you in Dark Knight Rises. And you are my actress. You're my perfect pussy. <laughs> You're back to that, huh? Meow. Meow. I let you steal my diamonds. So he gave his first ever major movie character the same name as himself. Tickle my pearls. You stole my pearls. Oh, he also loved her in Les Mis. We forgot she was in that. Why don't they like her in Havoc, where she showed her boobies at a young age? Yeah, I don't know. She was attractive there. A pay- what, what are they say? Christopher Nolan's most disappointing Batman? <clears throat> but there's like three actresses that he brings in, I guess, to play Anne Hathaway, and then he murders all of them. I don't know. It's very, very confusing. Unnecessary. I'm not sure I'm going to watch it, nor do I care, but it's very outrageous. I feel like it is outrageous. The uh, It says the marketing idea for Be My Cat was releasing viral clips as if uploaded by a maniac or by a psycho. I'm not sure why they chose Anne Hathaway for this, but still. I don't know. When did this actually come out? Who knows? They're like, they don't know if it's good, but they know it's a thing. It's like the room. It exists, but do people actually like it? They all kind of look like Anne Hathaway in a weird way, too. Sort of, all of yeah. his victims who are, aren't victims. Be my cat. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. Kind of an outrage. I would like to get out of murdering Anne Hathaway yeah, and into Borderlands Borderlands I think this looks good uh yes Borderlands does look good as long as Kevin Hart doesn't talk too much and Kate Blanchett always gives a good performance like when has she ever been bad yeah she's Titanic. been annoying She's not in Titanic. That's Naomi Watts. <clears throat> Naomi Watts, not also not in Titanic. Uh, <laughs> who's the bitch in Titanic? Neither of those women. Uh, no, she's definitely. Kate Blanchett is not in Titanic. Naomi Watts is though. Naomi Watts is not in Titanic. Celine Dion. It's not no, she sings the title song. Son of a bitch. We're no, it's uh that chick with the red hair. Uh, Megan Markle. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's Naomi Watts, dude. It's 100 not Naomi it's Watts. Naomi Watts. No, she was in uh, the it's, Ring. It's Naomi Watts, dude. <laughs> It is not. Maybe Naomi Watts is on the real Titanic. You're going to look real dumb when it's Naomi Watts. It's 100% not. It's. Kate, oh, wait. It's uh, Naomi Watts. It is not. How are you finding. How is Hold it taking this long to find Titanic cast? Because I can't see th- anything through these glasses because Jesus. I am blind. So and people who make fun of me for these glasses. Borderlands looks good. <clears throat> Minus Kevin Hart. Kate Winslet, dummy. Fuck. <laughs> I knew it. They're like the same. They're white and women. They're the same. Oh, no, to same. you, all white women look the, the same. same. That's right. Uh, so Borderlands looks cool. Yeah, there's some other people in it too besides Kevin, Kevin Hart. Hart. Oh, uh, Jack Black. 
Jack Black plays a robot for no reason. Yeah, I'm excited. It looks uh, looks pretty good for a video game movie. It looks fun. Yeah, it looks, it looks like it's doesn't look like it's gonna be a good. It's it looks good like it's gonna be a movie. A good It'll watch. be it's fine. Like, it's like Godzilla versus Kong. Like you know what you're getting. Yeah, you're getting like like a really dumb story, but it's entertaining things. to watch. I hope so. So Gina Gershon's in it. Whoever that is, Gina Gershon, Bobby Lee's in it. So you don't know Penn Jillette's in it. Do you, you don't know who Gina Gershon is? Yeah, words. You're saying words. Show Showgirls. Absolutely. You've never seen Showgirl? Mm, no. With Elizabeth Burke Stead Berkheimer nope. from that movie. Yeah, I'm not all ahead of the class. I'm not, no, I'm not 60 years old, so no. I'm not so sure about that. I'm not so sure about that. Showgirls. It was a movie. Elizabeth Barkley. Okay. The hell was she in? Daddy's got a tinkle, so let's move on. Yeah, Saved by the Bell. You never heard of Saved by the Bell? Da- yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel? First of all, you're you're in, right? Sure. And then are you in on uh, Pop-Tarts? Nope. Absolutely not. Jerry Seinfeld brings the origin of Pop-Tarts. Hard stop. To life in a Netflix movie. Hard no. You know you need to take a break, right? There's no way you're making it through this. We have two whole movies. No, we don't. We're going to do this rapid fire, bro. Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wow. I mean, you could... You the cancer could literally be eating you alive. Could right be. Now. We'll find out when the show's over. <laughs> it's either STDs or cancer. It's one it's or the could other. Could be both. ST to cancer. ST cancer. Yeah. So about this Jewish pop tart. <laughs> uh huh. Writer director Jerry Seinfeld. Yep. It's a it's a tale of ambition, betrayal, sugar, and menacing milkmen. Yeah, he made a movie about matzo ball soup or whatever. He did. <laughs> Remember the hostility? It stars uh, Melissa McCarthy, Jim Gaffigan, Amy Schumer, who looks like a monster. Hugh Grant, Max Greenfeld, Christian Chris Slater, Slater, Bill Burr, Dan Levy, and James Marsden, who defended James Mars Marsden's career might be over. By the way. He defended the guy who molested Drake Bell. He wrote a letter. Uh, we'll get to it. Jack McBrayer, Thomas Lennon, Bobby Moynihan, Adrian Martinez, Sarah Cooper, Fred Armisen. Oh, boy. It's very frosted. How do you feel about Pop-Tarts? I I mean, I like the s'mores ones. <laughs> uh-huh. They're pretty good. That's it. Are you out on this? Yep. Way I was out pretty much the first five seconds. I forgot to do the in and out thing. Whoopsies. Well, we're doing it now. What are in and we're out. But what about... We can move on. To the reviews? Ray, are you of how full my bladder is. Are you, how about I talk about... Nope. The dark side of kids television. What's nope. it called? Oh, the one where there's a bunch of white kids getting touched at Nickelodeon? Yeah, it's not just them. Everybody. Oh boy. Every child gets touched in ch- children's television. Don't send your children to television. Especially Nickelodeon. Sounds like you know somebody who's going to send their children to television. I do? I think you do. Okay. Got to make that money. Hey, I'll, you know, I'll send my kid to get touched for money. Obviously. Uh, the critics have it at 100%. Audience says it's 74%. We kind of curious why this is on Max, and uh, there's going to be an extra episode, I guess, because it's like four or five episodes. I didn't feel like reviewing it because it was real bothersome. I did. I, I don't. The material is not fun. It's not fun at all. Absolutely. Docu series that uncovers the toxic culture behind some of the most iconic children's shows of the late late 1990s and early 2000s. This sounds like you love children during that time period, so you would know all of these shows. I do love them the bestest. Like? Um, everybody loves Raymond. Nope. Uh, Raymond did. Actually, the guy from Everybody Loves Raymond showed up because he was eating a pickle from the pickle man. 
It's a they, weird. He stuck a pickle through the pickle hole. It's a little weird. And he grabbed the pickle and then he started slurping on the pickle. See, I don't. I don't. I didn't watch Nickelodeon stuff. I watched Disney stuff. Like I didn't uh, own a TV back then because I was a fetus. So uh, yeah, you were the pores. I was the pores. Yeah. I didn't own. I'm trying a to think of a TV. Nickelodeon show. I can't even think of one. The Amanda Show. Nope. You didn't watch Amanda Bynes? Is that Amanda Bynes? Yeah. It was called The Amanda Show? The, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Until Wait. she got a, a more adult show. Yeah, it didn't, didn't do her well. It did not. She was good until like 21, then she lost her marbles. <laughs> she spilled all of her marbles. Yeah. So basically, this show, in my assessment, wouldn't... And I, I see why the audience is giving it a 74%. If Drake Bell hadn't come out, of the closet per se, then um, kids. No, well, not exactly. I'll Virtually, explain. no. Uh, if he hadn't come out and they hadn't gotten a huge scoop like that, then this would have been not much because basically they outline how Dan Schneider, who created all these like Nickelodeon shows, like Josh and Bell and Keenan and Ivory Wayne's and yeah. I, I don't know all these Nickelodeon shows that I, I don't know them. I have never seen any of them. Um, something like who's all that and, and stuff and things. Sounds like a thing. I, like I said, there's shows I don't, I don't know the shows, but he just seemed like a really bad boss. Like he was nar he wasn't nice to people. He'd yell at people and no one's ever come out and accused him of anything directly, but he got wrapped up in me too and got fired. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, that Jeanette McCurdy girl who kind of lost her mind and wrote a book about, like, I, I'm glad my mom is dead. and Yep. Yeah. She never directly accuses him of anything. But remember, we, we did a whole video on this. Remember with the feet thing with Ariana Grande licking her feet and getting splooged on? I remember that, yeah. Yeah. Vaguely. So Dan Schneider was in charge of all that where she got, like, they would squirt girls in the face with stuff. And she would like, you know, jerk a potato to completion. Oh, now I remember that more. Yeah, yes. and then she would stick her feet in her mouth and like lick them and be like, "These are so tasty. My puddings are so tasty." Yeah, she was tasty <laughs> back then. <laughs> she was not tasty back then. She's more tasty then than she was now. She like, have, never was tasty. Have you seen now? Ariana Grande now? She is <laughs> the least tasty. <laughs> She is less tasty. Untasty. <laughs> she was not tasty She's at 13. She's a reverse tasty cake. Are you saying she was tasty at 13? I'm saying she was more tasty at 13 than she is now. Uh, I'm no. Nope. both are bad. Nope. Not going to agree to that. Bad. Not going to agree to that trap. So Roadhouse. Ro nope. And uh, so yeah. then we get to, they got a scoop. No, you're still talking. You can go. Nope. Oh, you'll, you'll survive. Nope. I will be fine because I'll talk about Drake Bell. So Drake Bell, in the middle of the series, they're just like, oh, by the way, do you remember there was a lawsuit from like 30 years ago? Twenty. It was 20 years ago, I think, where some where there was a, an acting coach who got like 16 months in jail and then went back to working in kids television for like molesting and sodomizing like a young young boy yeah it's tragic. drake bell was like yeah that's me yeah, i did it terrible and i think he was the john doe in terrible. the in in the uh in the uh, lawsuit absolute tragedy it's, ve it's very sad so then he goes on to explain like i'm a drug addict and an alcoholic and i had inappropriate text conversations with a minor but he never did anything physical he never, he just was inappropriate and he's trying to get his life back on track and he seems like a broken human being. Kind of like uh, Amanda Bynes does. She's very broken. So I understand. I feel yeah. like I get it. You know uh, do broken. I recommend it? Not necessarily. You know it, who's not broken? Jake Gyllenhaal. So it's just Road. Roadhouse. Roadhouse. But 2024 Roadhouse. Yes. Oh my god. It's better than this. Uh 
Well, it depends on your expectations going into it. So Roadhouse, audience score 55%, critic score 59%. Everybody agrees. Critic consensus, the Roadhouse updates a cult classic for a new generation, happily replicating the original's emphasis on cheesy brawn over narrative brains. Who ca- There was no narrative brains at the first one. I think the problem is, is if you thought you were getting like a real story, you're not going to. The first to. one wasn't a real story, so this is perfect. The first person who dies in this movie gets fed to a crocodile. So I'm going to say this oh, wasn't a yeah, very right, realistic story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they specifically mentioned a crocodile in the Florida Keys, not an alligator. So I think that was their tongue-in-cheek way of being like, this is not the real world. Oh, they did say crocodile instead of alligator. Yes, mm. numerous times. Yep. Now, there are rumors of saltwater crocodiles Road being house. at roadhouses in the Florida Keys. But we're going to go with most likely there are alligators. Although alligators don't like salt water, so maybe that's what they were, their excuse was. So uh, how did I feel about this? I think it's dumb fun. It's like one of those... So dumb. It's, it's two hours of tasty shirtless men. Yes, it is two hours. And it doesn't make a ton of sense. But Jake Gyllenhaal, scrumptious with he all the He does Mexican save this movie, which is weird because he doesn't... The whole first half of it, I'm like, he look hit with his stupid grin and his ridiculously yoked body. I'm like, this doesn't make a lot of sense. And then Conor McGregor shows up. He's like, I'm a little leprechaun. I'm a little leprechaun, and I like to show my booty. Where the fuck is everyone? I don't understand. Honestly, Conor McGregor was the best thing ever. He was... he. It's like he watched... He overacted at his yes. finance. He watched a bunch of cartoon, like, villains. And, and was, he like, was like, I can I'm do that. that. That's what, I, that's what I'm going to do. But it works. I guess it worked. I, I don't really understand. Like, like I knew he was overacting, but I was like, I love this. It was amusing. He could never do anything other than that. And the fact like the, I don't know. All of it is just weird. The fact that, do we spoil any of it? I don't know. What's there to spoil? There's a turn in the third act where Jake Gyllenhaal goes from like kind of pleasantly like, oh, I could beat people up, but I, I'm I'm not trying to like murder people to being like, Yeah, I don't care anymore. I'm just it's okay if I murder people. <laughs> and you're like, why is he doing this? It's He's like me. tricking cops and setting up crime scenes, and you're like, what is going on here? It's good. I like it. Yeah. Uh, good, it, it's all relative. It's great. It's good. We're good. I'm going to take a tinkle, boys. Oh, you're going to explode. I will read some of the I bad made it. reviews. Nope. Say less. Nah, I'm just going to read some reviews. <laughs> Roadhouse should have been called Outhouse. Out of sync, out of style, out of fresh ideas. Remaking Roadhouse is a supremely dumb idea, so it's fitting that it has morphed into a self-conscious, consciously dumb movie. Lyman's Roadhouse gets the job done, but it's the wrong job, and the ratios are off. Wow. By the way, Doug Lyman is the director of uh, The Edge of Tomorrow. Like He's a solid director, so putting this one in is a little weird. You know, I don't know why he decided to do this. I know there was like a big, and I did a whole video on this, where there's a big fight over whether it should have been a streaming movie or whether it should have been released in the theaters. It's a very uh, tenuous fight where people are are not happy about that. But uh, more bad reviews. All very stupid, all very cultist. Oh. In renovating Roadhouse, the builders lost the plot. Dizzying in an all-servicing way. Wow. It's as harmless as it's forgettable, which may not be a ringing endorsement, but it's fitting description of this kind of fun, yet glaringly flawed time passer. I agree with all those. Yeah, Lyman from The Born Identity and Edge of Tomorrow delivers slick imagery and welcome chuckles, but for the most part, Roadhouse is a generic and forgettable action flick missing its predecessor's lurid spirit. 
I'm pretty sure that the original Roadhouse isn't all that good either. So I'm not going to... I don't know why people are all worried about it. It's just fine. It's like a C plus, maybe like a C. So somewhere in the 70s, you'll like it if you like it. I'm not, I wouldn't be too concerned over it. I wouldn't get yourself all bent out of shape. But that's it. That's, I know Noob Noob loved it. I'm okay with it. That's what you get. You get an episode where Noob Noob leaves and that may be it for Noob Noob forever. He may be gone to us. He'll always be here in spirit. But you've been here this long. You know what to do. Oh, my gosh. He's back. Will he make it before he's... Oh, oh he's God, back. That stream was so long. His relief. His Both sweet his relief. live stream and my actual stream. Ah, yes. We, I'm ready for bed. We will, we will be finished. As for us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, thank you to everybody who joined us. We love all y'all. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, do all those things and more. We love all y'all, but we are on to the next one.